Hey guys, it's me, back again, and uh, today, apparently, I know this sounds a little bit weird that I decided to make a video 29 minutes after the depressing video from not that while ago, because, you know, about a toxic gotcha tuber who, who literally just shows that they are very the scum of the earth, but we're not going to talk about it. You guys can just check the last video and see what I mean. But apparently, I jinxed it because apparently now, uh, yeah, a lighthearted, a lighthearted video is here. So essentially, yeah, I come to tell you guys that. Well, yes, I mean there's there's bound to be gotcha cringe. I mean, I'm pretty sure I made some as well. I don't know. But actually, being critical to gotcha could can improve most people being could basically improve stuff. Look, I'm just gonna you I'm just gonna show you guys an example. Alright, so this post was made by Dark Shadow and Dark Shadow, if you're watching this, I'm sorry if I'm using your post, but honestly yours is basically the most you know, a good example of this. So I'm sorry if I'm using your your posts. And you know, just in, just to make it up, guys, please go subscribe to Dark Shadow's content. I watched it and it was really it's really good. But anyways, essentially, being cri essentially, if you can read here, being critical and not being rudely criminal, being rudely critical. Can make a difference. So let's use this. This is basically about a FNAF gotcha series or whatever. A FNAF gotcha video, I believe. But basically, they go like this. Okay, I have no problem with this ship. Charlie X Elizabeth is the one of the most normal ships in FNAF. But these kids shouldn't... But these are kids. You shouldn't secularize kids in a... Per if the person who made this sees this post, just make it a little more wholesome. Now, yes, Elizabeth, who or Elizabeth Afton, who is the daughter of William Afton, aka the purple guy. And I'm sorry, and Charlie, who is Henry's, uh, you know, William's business partner, who, you know, where William kill Charlie and she becomes the puppet. Yes, I know. These two never been re haven't really you know interact with each other, but yeah, they're they are basically kids in the main they're basically kids in the in canon, just stuck in animatronic suits. But the thing is, yeah. I mean you can see that here they're down here they're saying politely about it. Okay? Now I know some people are going to say, "Well, what why are you def why are you saying that we shouldn't be raging? I mean, these are kids. They're not supposed to be used like that." Yes. You are absolutely right. Okay? I don't approve. Like I don't approve like having kids in Virgo situations. However, I believe, however, I'm pretty sure, I, I saw that video and I, I think I saw, yeah, no, did I check? Yeah, 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 I did. It always has the, in the name title, AU. Now, honestly, I can go on and on about describe, detailing what an AU is. And honestly, it's a video by itself. And because honestly, it's something that many people in the community just don't seem to get in their heads. Either one, they're too passionate for the can of the canon version that they don't like having an AU that rips their entire knowledge about the canonicity to go wire, or they clearly did not see that this is an AU and don't and don't even think in their heads that. Hey, this is an AU. This isn't canon. So, but I'm going to keep it breach. I'm going to keep it small. 
An AU is an alternate universe. That means it's, yes, it can use characters from, you know, from your, some of your favorite characters like Sonic or Mario. Heck, Purple Guy, William Afton. But you expand upon it. Same characters, different stories. It's bas just basically think of AUs as Undertale. Oh wait, people will either hate Undertale or just think it's cringy too. <sighs> honestly, man, honestly. Anyways, basically everyone knows about Undertale. They heard about Undertale and there are many different AUs like Underswap, Underfell, Unders Echo Tail. Basically all that. There are AUs. Same characters, different lives. So while well, yes, Charlie and Charlie and Elizabeth are kids in the in the canonicity in AUs, they might as well be put in teenage era in teenage age. And honestly, that's I mean it's fun. What's what's the purpose of an AU? It's supposed to bring it's supposed to bring the person who makes that AU freedom of creativity. You're essentially using your favorite character and expand upon it. And heck, expanding the lore upon it in ways that I don't think the canon version would. Alright? And honestly, I can tell it's already a big problem for many, and I mean many, of the canonicity. I mean, I think it's just, honestly, it's the biggest threat when it comes to FNAF. Because there are so many... Hardcore fans who are very passionate and are still trying to dissect the lore that all the evidence they have that they deem canon, if they see something that really changed up their ways, it's just not going well because they're so passionate of the canon version that they don't like it if, if a different video out there of FNAF tells differently. But basically, AUs are basically that. They give the person who create them freedom. Tell different stories, but with the same characters, but with different lives. Heck, for all we know, Undertale and Deltarune are basically different universes from each other. Deltarune is a different alternate universe from Undertale. The same characters, but with different lives. Again, I will expand upon this the AU video, I will explain upon the AU explanation in a different in a different video. I mean, this are, this video is already past the eight minute mark. But yeah. So what I'm trying to say is that sometimes good criticism could make a community better than just bad community than bad criticism that. Saying, oh, this is the bane, oh, this is the bane of humanity. I can't, uh, I just, bleh, 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 bleh. No. Good, good criticism all the way. Bad criticism, just go away. So, yeah, guys, this is the end of the video. Again, I'm sorry if, you know, for you guys, I, you found it offended that I'm, I basically s switch over from, uh, serious video like from the last video and to this video but you know like i said i wanted to have something lighthearted. i don't want you guys to look at my video and see that see that video and now you're left depressed and sad i wanted to make you guys happy so yeah anyways guys this is juan the hedgehog signing off